are shockloads of myth. We are gonna do some human testing on this episode of How Not to Highline. Jinx and this is Bobby Hutton and we are going to fall for science um, I believe shock loads are a myth yes you can do anything in the lab if you want to but in a real life scenario does it fucking matter because so often people are putting limiter knots here and here and doing fancy ass shit which yeah, has its place for sure but you take a 44 kilonewton uh, double length sling I have here and reduce it down to 14 kilonewtons when you start putting limiter knots in this. And we have that in a separate episode of our slack snap stuff. So what we have here is a Rock Exotica Enforcer. This reads at 500 hertz. That's uh, times per second, even though this whole thing might hurt. This only reads at 40 hertz, but it's super good enough for what we're doing, including one on moi, as I am going to be 50 feet, 25 feet, 10 feet, and like, or maybe five, and then directly attach to this, and then he's going to release this, and I'm going to basically shock load this. Now, I actually think this is gonna hurt, but when you add a dynamic rope into the system, is it really? Because you're only taking a one or two foot fall on a rope. We are going to go down here at the rostrum and do this about 600 or 800 feet high in order to be extra safe because we do want to make sure human testing is safe. And the higher it is, one, it looks really cool. And two, we can have backup ropes and take a 30 foot whipper in case something doesn't go well and be just fine. Okay, so we're going to repel this. Uh, three of us are going to go down there and we're going to set up that anchor and we've marked the 50 foot and 25 foot marks on the rope so we can uh, have as accurate of science as possible, if you want to call that this. Call this that. Ooh, this is hard to do in the morning. Okay, this is always more scary in real life when you're about to do it than when you think about this on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the line scale up here. It sits flush against the rock. It's kind of nice the way it's sitting. Um, this can have twists and all sorts of stuff in it, so that's why the swivels are nice for this. Plus, this is gonna read our peak force at this point. These should, in theory, read the same, but we don't know, and we've got three dinos, why not? So I'm basically gonna be attached to this, um, my Super 8 here, and I'm gonna be backed up loosely to this, but I would be attached to our two points that we have currently preset. <laughs> oh no! Okay, we'll work on that. Ooh, shock load. Oh God. This is gonna be scary. <laughs> okay, and then we'll reset it. Oh, so scary. Man, nothing's easy. Science is hard. So, couple theories here. You have friction of this sliding. You've got this clustering at the bottom. You got a lot of things absorbing, plus the ropes absorbing, plus when a lot of things are tested in a lab, they're using like blocks of steel. And I'm a bag of water, so like my body's gonna absorb a lot different than a, like a block of steel would. So uh, I definitely think human testing is fun. So that's mostly why we do it, but also very helpful. Now this dino's attached with a soft shackle right here because I like the way it orientates it and double wrap. It's way stronger than this dino, which is 90 kilonewtons. It's actually a pretty great dino for like slack lines and stuff. Um, we are gonna get some more rock exoticas for these uh, more shock loads and drop tests because they do read higher, but this is uh, my go-to one for high lines and slack lines. I'm going to put a triple locker carabiner on here. We're using a 9.4 dynamic rope that is uh, mildly used. It's not brand new. So what I'm doing here is I'm staying on my Grigri and then I'm backed up to uh, a knot. So I'm, I'm secure um, up there to separate bolts. So I feel okay about that. And then here I have 0.86 kilonewtons uh, currently. So. Ready? Yeah, I think so. 
Three, two, one. Ah, oh, it's so scary when it doesn't work. All right, I'm gonna try it. Oh, man. Ah! All right, this is like the, ah! This is like that movie where they like couldn't get the electric chair to work. <laughs> Fuck! <sighs> one point four kilonewtons. Test one. One point five one. One point five two. This is kind of fun. It is only a two foot drop, so. It's gonna be a lot scarier when we do our like big rope swings and our big uh, factor two fall tests we're gonna do later. So I'm at the 25 foot mark and I'm reading 0.93 just cause I'm kind of bouncing around right now. So let's, uh, let's see what half the rope will give us for shock load. Those are scary. <laughs> 1.69. It wasn't too bad. I'm uh, like it doesn't hurt, not yet. Let's see if we can get it to hurt. So uh, basically Robbie's right over there filming us from the side. He's awesome. Okay, let's go up. <sighs> Test two, Rock Zotica, 172. 167. Okay, this is my third test now, and I'm about, I don't know, that, that far away from the anchor. Uh, about half of what I was, maybe a little bit more than 10 feet. So again, I am at 0.88 kilonewtons before we start. Three, oh two, one. Ah, 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 why, why is this the best idea we could come up with to do with our Sunday? Holy shit, you have 14 kilonewtons. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, just 1.9. Uh, it looks like 2.18. 2.18, test three. And that got 2.04. 2.04. But it's making, can you hear that sound it's making? So, rock exoticas oh. read at high hertz rates, but they don't like to be shock loaded. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Okay, I'm at 0.88. I can touch my my knot of hair. God damn. Three, two, one. Ah! Okay, that's just really scary. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, fuck me. I got 2.09. 2.09. 2.17 at the anchor. There we go. 2.68 kilonewtons. Yeah. You're big. And, and that said 2.1? 2.17. All right, so that that hurt, like I felt it, like an aggressive lead fall, but I mean, I only had this much rope. I only had this much rope absorbing it. Do you think it's safe enough for me to attach direct? Like I'd be backed up like directly after it. Like, and it doesn't matter, it's still dynamic and I'm not gonna shock load this thing. I'm trying to think of how I could hang on to something and I wouldn't like smash my hand, but I, I kind of want to have that security. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to make the call. Nope. Fuck it. Science, bitches. <laughs> ah! I hate lab tests. They just, they just aren't real life, you know? Is there a way to like do it safer? What would I grab? Like, I guess this is, this could hurt. Do you think it's really gonna hurt? Like, let's say it was four. I experienced four at the climbing gym. So I have like, this is, my soft shackle is super static. Like everything in your static. This, the soft shackles are made out of the same material as these Dyneema slings. It's just 12 braided and check out our other videos on that. <laughs> um, fuck dude, like this needs to happen. Or should we like, drop test a bag i'm like but a bag's not a, like fuck so that dino's 0.46 this one's like uh, about 8.8 .8. and so it sees about half the load um and 
I'm gonna pull it myself. This dino's freaking out, but like it still might read. Um, I have a self-rescue thing. We already have a rescue plan in case this doesn't go well, right? Because this kind of sucks. In three, two, oh, one. Ah! I don't count down well. I got 2.3, what would we get up there? Yeah, this. 2.37. 2.37. 2.30. So about the same, especially since we're closer. And then this guy, yeah, he was killing his 3.08, which is interesting if that is correct. I really doubt it. I think we're good. Well, this also reads at a higher peak for us, but maybe not in the condition it's in. I'm gonna attach this and this together. So we'll actually have two dinos at this point and be good enough science. So we kind of already put together a hard point for chest harness. So I'm not like totally fucked. Somebody sent me a video of a guy who put they put like a rocket on a car on a train and then rammed it into water so he stopped in two seconds and in the video basically it was what 80 g's or 40 g's 80 g's, 80 g's and all his capillaries and his eyeballs exploded and his retinas almost fell out of his eyeballs so that'd be pretty funny if that happened from this <laughs> but they said he uh, lived till a ripe old age and could see again after about a week. <sighs> Three, two, one. Ugh. Science! Ah! God, that was so scary. Oh, I'm, sh I'm shaking so bad. Okay, I have 2.4 on here. What do you, you got? 2.25. 2.25. Two okay, so less up there than this, 4.44 kilonewtons. So is shock loading a myth? Well, shock loading as a concept is not a myth, but is it dangerous? Based on what I feel literally in my body when we did this experiment, I don't believe it is when you add other components into the system like a dynamic rope. Now we do have to consider that this is not redundant and redundancy is one of my most important factors when I build an anchor. A fun fact you should know is on our slack snap test with a new Dyneema sling, used ones don't usually do well over time, a new one got 44 kilonewtons in this orientation. And when we put limiter knots in the sling like this, we ended up getting less than half of the force, around 19 kilonewtons. Now, is it worth it to lose that much strength in order to reduce the amount of shock load that you would get? Put your opinion on that in the comments below and maybe articles that address that issue. I am considering building some of my anchors with two slings, so it's two shoulder length slings here, because I like redundancy and I like the fact that sliding X's are very versatile. I might even experiment with this on my Highline anchors because we're realizing that bolts are plenty strong enough and the shock load may not be there because the webbing might absorb the shock. And we are going to definitely do some human experimenting on that. So don't do it until I test it first, please. Make sure that you do read the comments below because people will put links inevitably about this topic and I'm excited also about reading them. So if you know of good articles and research that has been done, take into consideration the things that we brought up in this video about tests being too isolated or steel blocks not being too like the same as a body would react and maybe some back injuries from these shock loads that I haven't heard about yet. You can also put in the comments ideas that you have. I read through all of them and I make sure that we design our future tests with better experiments, better dinos, better, uh, we're gonna maybe do graphs on the dinos from now on. I just have to get the apps figured out. Rock Exotica is gonna actually send me the beta test for their new app, but we definitely get a lot, a lot of feedback from you guys. So please, please tell us what you wanna see in the future episodes.